And welcome back to Shackle Gaming and another episode of Teardown. So let's go tear things down, I guess. We're gonna continue the campaign right where we left off. Before we do that, though, we have new toys to play with. Hold on. Let's check this out. What do we get? A pistol. A gun. Which... Well, doesn't seem very powerful. Kind of looks like a pea shooter to me, but oh well. Now, what does it do, actually? Let's read in the terminal. See if I can decipher what this is being used for. Good for medium range precision shooting. All right, that is the key word. We need this for precision things. Causes small damage on most material within the entire range. All right, so this is going to be a specialty tool, mostly. Let's now go and take a mission. Anton Wolf needs some tools. Hey, I've heard about your skills. Could you do a quickie for me? You see, there's a construction going on in the marina, some new dock or something, and there are high-end tools spread all over the place. I could really use some of them for an upcoming job. Could you get over there and collect them for me? Cheers, Anton. He looks very shady, but we need the money. So side mission tool up. Let's go. At the West Point Marina. Ooh, there's six of them and we need four. Alright, cool. Maybe we'll try even for all six, we'll see. And here we are at the marina, tool up. Alright, this is probably my escape boat. Excellent, so let's get the lay of the land first things first. Remember, the yellow ones are the primary targets, we have to do those. The white ones are the secondary, they are optional. But we're gonna try for them nonetheless. And seeing as the first optional is right next to the escape vehicle, we are getting at least one of them. Oh, I can see a container here, maybe we could... Uh, we could use some machinery like this thing maybe and transport it. Then we have, oh, this seems mobile as well. This seems like a, like it's floating. Maybe I could attach a boat to it and uh, take it with me. We'll see. This is in the first floor. We're going to have to build some elevation and planks and whatnot. This could be the easiest. We'll see. Maybe it's inside a boat and we can transfer this as well. Yeah, and this is probably going to be the most difficult one, the one that's the furthest away from the boat. Although we could use a boat and race, we're probably gonna go take this, then this, then this. So build essentially a path here. Then hopefully I can transport this next to this and take these both and go into the boat and finish the mission. Alright, let's go visit our objective, see what we're dealing with. Alright, so the first one should be right around the corner, and there it is. This is an optional objective, is it? Right next to the boat. Yeah, if I can... this is not movable. If I can bring other objectives close to it and uh, bunch them up together, take them before, right before we escape, that would be nice. The second objective should be up here. It's probably inside that trailer, judging by the map. This could be an interesting one. It is quite high up. I cannot bring that machine over here that high to take this but maybe maybe can somehow pull this box down here drop it at least over there and then grab it we'll see all right so i have an idea this is on the edge the target is right on the edge of the trailer so maybe it kind of seems like i can kind of push it you can see it kind of moves maybe so how about I try to uh, blast this area here with a shotgun, maybe. Create like a little path. Oh man, do not destroy this though. Big enough to drop this down. And we'll see, maybe then I can bring the lift over here and uh, transport it. Oh man, this is too heavy. I cannot move this. We're gonna have to uh, make this a bit lighter. Hold on. I have just the tools. Let's actually save before I do something incredibly silly, but maybe, you know, let's just make it a bit lighter. Oh man, I've made such a mess. Hold on. We need to get rid of the chairs and whatever. Everything goes inside the ocean now. And I'm gonna have to somehow get rid of the metal frame, maybe. Man, that metal frame though down here, it is indestructible, but maybe... Maybe I can get rid of the surrounding metal frame. Hold on. Let's use the blowtorch for that. Alright, so maybe... Let's detach it here and, and there. Okay, that should be... Yes, and now it is gone. Ah, this feels much lighter already. Nice. So maybe now we can kind of move it. Ah, yes, now it is movable. Okay, cool. Let's try and uh, put it down gently, maybe. Oh man, this is... Hold on. Let's actually get rid of the table. Oh, this is incredibly finicky though. 
Or right, if I throw this down and it lands on this face, on this side, then the cable should not detach because it's long enough. Question being, do I have delicate enough hands to do this? Probably not. <laughs> I will see. Oh man, this is not going... Hold on, can I draw it from the other side maybe? Ah, yes I can. Ah, let's draw it a little bit, hold on. Oh, this needs to be delicate. I draw it a little bit. Maybe from underneath. All right, now let's go back up. And I'm gonna try to gently push it push it down. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna go well. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. No alarms. Excellent. All right. Prop it up a bit. Like this. Nice. Right now, maybe I can bring a machinery of sorts and attach it, but before we do that, let me create a bit of an opening here so we can easily transport it. Is that wide enough? Let's give it one more shot from each side. Maybe let's unruff the edges a bit. All right, that should be that should be fine. Let's bring it a bit closer. No, oh, this is not easy to move. Oh, this is heavy as heck. All right, nice. Maybe push it a little bit from this side. Yes, I'm gonna make sure it is as close to the edge as we can. All right, that looks like enough. And now we're gonna bring some machinery to the fold. All right, and there it is. The gate should open automatically, I hope. Let's see if that is the case. Yes, thank you. All right, and now let's bring it as close as we can. I'm gonna have to attach this with a plank. So I don't know if this is gonna work, actually. How high can this go? Yes. Yes, it can work. Uh, it needs to be extremely close, though. Like this, maybe. All right, now up we go. Equip the plank tool. Planks are not only used to, uh, you know, traverse obstacles. You can actually use them to join things like this to that. Oh, that wasn't too high, but okay, hopefully this works. Oh, kind of in a short leash there. It's gonna require some delicate handling. Ah, so let's see, let's lift it up a bit. Oh, boy. Alright, back it gently. Oh, I'm mostly concerned this is gonna smash onto my vehicle and trigger the alarm. Oh. Come on. Don't smash onto my vehicle. Man, I need to be very careful. Hold on. I'm gonna back it. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna get out of the vehicle. I'm gonna grab it by hand. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Not like that. Oh, this is not going well. <laughs> oh, this is not going well at all. Can I leave it? Is this actually working? Jesus. I don't know how this is working. I'm gonna back it gently, very gently. Now put it down a bit. Okay, like that, so that it doesn't smash onto the vehicle itself. Oh, no, 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 don't, 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 don't smash. Oh, oh, man. This is definitely not how the developers intended this to be played. All right, let's put this a bit further down. Like this. All right, now I have some leeway. All right, and now let's transport this to the, uh, to my designated location where the secondary objective is. All right, and now I'm gonna drop it very gently. Hold on. All right, easy does it. Back up a bit. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't trigger the alarm. <laughs> oh, that is such a pro move. Love it. So now we can grab this, grab that, and be on our merry way. Excellent. Let's go and find out how to get to the next objective. All right, so once again, this should be inside here. It should be... Right there on the second floor, right on the edge. Interesting. Oh, that means... Uh, how are we gonna do this? Hold on, hold on. We are gonna grab the first objective from where I'm looking now. We're gonna come there, which is the secondary objective, inside the red building, and then gonna have to come here. And the objective is right on the edge on the second floor, like above this 
red explosive tank. So we're gonna have to open a hole here. Do I have a pipe bomb? Yes. Now let's place one there. I'm gonna create a little hole. Man, the pipe bombs are like weak shotgun shots. I don't like them very much, I'll be honest. I'm gonna use one round of my shotgun. Open this up a bit. Alright, now we can get in here and... Hold on, let's actually get inside and create a path that goes with planks down here. So we can quickly escape in and out. Essentially doing... No, not that. Come on. <laughs> Where's my spray can? Climbing on top of this. Now, so in we go. And there it is up there. Yeah, this is immovable as well. So I'm gonna have to come up to this point. Let's create a hole. I'm gonna use my shotgun now. I do not want the pipe bomb to trigger an explosion and uh, the alarm. Oh yes, and it leads out right onto this red thing. Which is excellent. Man, I created a uh, obstacle for myself. Oh no, I fell down. Come on, Shaq, be a pro, damn it. In any case, I'm gonna put a few planks. Yeah, that should be easy, come on. Ah... Uh, yeah, give me planks. I'm gonna stick to my original thinking. One plank goes up there. And another plank connects to this one. Goes down here. There should be a straight path. Excellent. Love it. Alright, now let's go down. And we're gonna go to the next objective. We should be inside this building. I'm gonna grab a vehicle because I see a door. That way we're gonna open it automatically. But, you know what? Hold on. In order to go and grab all the objectives as fast as we can, I'm gonna use a different car. Which means I need these gates out of the way. I'm gonna just smash them. Like this, so that they are ruined. They cannot close down anymore. Smash the other one as well. Excellent. And now we have no opposition left. I hope. This door should be opening without any force. Yes, excellent. And where is my objective? It is up there. Alright, that should be easy. We're gonna play some planks again. Now let's get rid of anything we don't need. Now let's actually be delicate about this. I do not want to blow this up. I'm just gonna use the torch. Alright, excellent. And now some planks. Can I place them from down here? I should be able to. Yes, excellent. One plank is even gonna do it. Nice, now we can grab this as well. Let me mark it with my spray can. Excellent, so we are gonna be coming with a car. I'm gonna park it here, quickly grab that, then park it there, quickly grab that, and then get out of the gate. Oh, the gate. Yes, get out of the gate. Right as I was saying it, we need to clear some more gates. I mean, the gates are gonna open for the car, but they're gonna take some time, some precious seconds that we do not have to spare, so... We are just gonna knock the gates down instead. Which is useful as much as it is satisfying. <laughs> Alright, now let's park this somewhere out of the way. Maybe inside this garage. Ooh, and I think, I think I have found my escape vehicle. Oh, uh, I don't know if this is quick enough. Let's see. And it's definitely quicker than the construction machine though, so... Yeah, okay, it will have to do. Alright, and the final objective is going to be inside this door and up there. Let me quickly park this. Alright, so I'll park it right next to the door. So that we do not miss any precious seconds. Like literally onto it. Open this. Come on. Yes, I've blocked my door. <laughs> nice going, Shaken. Come on, damn it. Alright, now we can do it. Alright, and up we go. And this should be my starting point. So yes, we're gonna grab this first. Race to this. Race to that. Go with the car over here. And before we do any of these, we actually have forgotten about the final objective of this one. I'm thinking, let's go and see, let's go and find out if I can grab this by boat and transport it all the way back here, like close to my exit point maybe. Alright, and there it is. 
You can kind of tell that this was by design, so we should have no issue. Yes, this is fully on this raft, so we should be able to bring a boat here, attach it to it, and then get going. Let's bring this one. Ah, yeah, we have to get rid of this first. All right, ahoy hoy. Let's get it into position. All right, then let's back it in gently. I'm gonna try to connect it to a single plank and leave as much distance as I can from it because I need to be able to maneuver or God forbid use a reverse gear. We'll see how that goes. Uh, is that far enough? No. Hold on. Just give me a bit more distance like there. Now give me a plank. Now I'm gonna t attach it to the center of my boat. Like this. You might not, uh, it might not look like it, but they are actually glued together. So now... Yes, we can actually take this with us. Alright, let's go the distance now, the long way around, and bring it close to our exit point. Man, that was a long boat ride. Thank God for the magic of video editing. <laughs> but we have arrived very close to my boat there. I'm gonna try to park it as close as I can to the marina. There's no chance I'm maneuvering it better than this. This is really, really hard to maneuver as it is. Right, let's bring it as close as we can. Uh, okay, a bit closer maybe. Oh, hold on now, can we jump to it? Yeah, we can jump to it. Alright, and then this is gonna be the final one I get. I can get like this. And then I do not want to have to go the long way around to my boat. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the bridge. Maybe by using this boat. Like, you know, jumping from one boat to the other, I guess, or something. Oh, this is gonna take some maneuvering. Hold on. Alright, gently now. Alright, park it right there. Excellent. So we can jump onto that and then... I'm gonna connect this with a plank just to be on the extra safe side. And we can get to victory like this. Alright, cool. So now I think, think we have everything into place. Let's go to the first point and start the heist. Actually, scratch that because we have a new problem that I discovered. You see, once we grab these two objectives, the fastest way is actually going behind the back of this house. Right, and grabbing this last objective. This is kind of narrow though to navigate with a car and I do not want to waste time running. So we're gonna have to uh, <coughs> renovate this house a bit. Which means, first things first, let's blow these corners. Which otherwise we cannot. Only via shotgun this is doable. We're gonna cut some corners, as you say. And now I'm gonna bring this little beast and put some, uh, you know, finishing touches. Nothing major, like driving through it, you know. <laughs> or, you know what? Maybe driving through it it is. Alright, let's, uh... Oh man, this is gonna take a while. But in the end, we will prevail, damn it. Ah yes, now it looks lovely. Ah, oh man, my vehicle is beached, come on. Ah, let's park this here. And, uh, maybe get rid of some of the rubble. Yeah, that could be a bit problematic, couldn't it? <laughs> Ah, uh, all right. Give me a sec. All right. Yeah, this looks a bit better. Well, not to live in, but, you know, to pass through. Right now, let's get to the starting point and start the heist. All right, so for one last time, our plan. We grab this first, then we park it right next to the red vehicle, to the red building, I mean. Grab via the planks the target, park it next to the other brick building, up the planks, get the other one, and then... We race all the way here, grab these two which I've conveniently placed next to each other and then through the renovation of my house possibly we can carry some speed with a vehicle, go around, grab this, via the planks and the boat onto the escape vehicle and hopefully we can do this all in under 60 seconds. Let's give it a go! And down we go, quickly inside the car. Drive to the first objective without swerving too much. Out we go. Oh man, I'm not doing good time. We have already lost almost 15 seconds. Grab this. Ugh, I'm gonna cut it very close. Alright, quickly up the planks here. Grab this, come on. 
be faster. Oh man, not even 30 seconds and the car is too far away, damn it. Oh, this was not a good run. I guess I'm trying to keep everybody on the edge of their seats. Quickly, give me those. This one and this one. Oh, 14 seconds is not enough. Where is my car? I've lost my car. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna be enough, damn it. No, I've been caught by the police. We're gonna have to try again because I lost my damn car. Oh man, I was so close though. All right, hold on, hold on. Next time we're gonna get it, I promise. All right, try number two and try not to lose your damn car, Shaken, this time. Come on, man. <laughs> How could I lose a car? All right, quickly, quickly, man. He's getting off the wrong side of the car. That's why I'm losing so, so many, many precious seconds. He should get off the co-pilot seat. All right, now. The co-driver, I mean. Ah, oh, man, I'm losing almost 30 seconds on this section. This is not good. Oh, at least the car is a bit closer this time. All right, that could make the difference because I was but two seconds shy of actually beating this. Oh, now stop car. Damn it. Do not go... <laughs> Do not go disappearing on me again. Two targets. Into the car. Quickly drive around the corner. Oh, this is not easy. <laughs> oh, man, come on. Oh, the car is blocking my way. Come on, this is gonna be epic one more time. Quickly, three, two, one, and off I go. Ha ha. Bye, fools. I made it. <laughs> In the nick of time again. And that is the mission. So thank you guys for watching another heist with Marky... Uh, another heist with uh, Shakum Gaming, I mean. And as you watch this glorious red line race through the entirety of the level, tell me down in the comments. Do you want to see more heists? And if so, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.